Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome to This Is How Fishing Works, right? <laughs> this is a little indie game. I think I found it on itch.io uh, fairly recently. It's, um, how do I explain this? Basically, you play as this alien creature inside some sort of very jellyfish esque submarine type thing. We're underwater, I think we've got a harvest fish. I think this is a horror game, at least one of the tags said it was horror. Um, it's underwater, as you can see, and basically there's going to be monsters around, I imagine, anyway, at least. So, I think we just set sail, ladies and gents, and hope for the best. Now, there's no main menu screen or options for this. Uh, it basically just threw me straight in, pretty much. But, we'll see. I mean, the graphics look pretty uh, awesome, actually, don't they? It looks like we're just following sort of a set path at the moment. But what's the deal over here? Oh. Alright, well, underwater columns. Isn't this fascinating? This definitely has a bit of a horror vibe to it, not gonna lie. All these freaking Cthulhu-esque statues over here. Alright, that's definitely horror-esque music. Okay, when's something gonna jump out at me? That's a big skeleton fish. That was. Can I go through there? Not by the looks of it. We're going this way. We're shooting along. And hoping that we don't get targeted. Ooh. What is this, for an underwater graveyard? What the hell? Ooh, can I go here? Ooh, I can. Okay. We're not necessarily limited to... Oh no, we are. <laughs> I was going to say, we're not necessarily limited to one or two pathway. Oh no, seaweed. <laughs> Just saw that looming out and thought it was something horrible. Oh look, we're going through the Kelpie Forest. Isn't that nice? Oh, I see you moving in the background over there. Oh, you don't look friendly at all now, do you? Aren't you just joyful, old boy? What's going to happen when I go out there? Are you just going to attack me? I've got to remember, I do technically have a camera control here, if I use my mouse. Alright, I think he's just going to hang around over there, is he? Can we sort of skirt around the edge without being seen? Maybe the uh, kelp is actually acting as a uh, barrier here. Is there more kelp over there? Let's have a look. It uh, looks like it, doesn't it? We can skirt across there very fast. Right, let's go. Yeah, he's coming for me. Aha! You see, that's what this is. It's a hiding place. I get it. Oh god, there's another dude over there. Dude? Uh, monster, even? Alright, so it's like a stealth game, basically. Stealth underwater submarine action. Oh, he's going to see me. I think they're both going to see me if I'm not careful. Oh god, where am I going from here? This way? Jesus. This is risky. Stay in the plants, that's all. Oh god. Uh, going over here. Watch out for the giant bonefish. Bonefish, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, go. Yep. Yeah. Don't kill me, bruh! Ooh. What's this? Hello, hello? <laughs> God. So who knew that uh, after starring in the successful film that was Steven Spielberg's E.T., E.T. decided to retreat to the depths of the ocean and sail around a strange-looking submarine whilst avoiding evil zombie bonefish. Now, what's down here? Okay, I definitely think this is a horror game now. Or at least it's meant... To me. Where's that coming from? I don't even know. Is that coming from behind me? I'm not sure. Ooh, can we sail through the skelly? Through the ribs? No, we can't. There's a big skeleton, though, which is a bit unsettling. Alright. Oh, God. I feel like at some point I'm going to get chased. I think maybe I'm being chased right now, in fact. Maybe he's behind me. Maybe I just need to keep moving. Yeah, that sounds ominous. Get into the plants where you won't be able to see me. Stop. Are you behind me? Christ, that's loud. It's hella noisy, that is. I don't know what's producing that noise, but... Over here. Oh, God. Okay, so as long as you're sort of on the edge of the uh, kelp, you're okay. Good God. Some real thalassophobia going on here, isn't there? All right, over here. This is where we want to be. Safe and sound in here. So it feels like you can see better without the light, but... Oh, shit! Oh, that's a big boy! That's a hell of a big boy! Oh, that's a big boy! 
That's our big, big boy. You must be what's producing all these spooky noises, then. Right, I'm going over here. Now we're going for it. Where are you? Maybe he's just doing, uh, doing circles over the area. I just have to keep moving. Maybe that's what he's going. He's doing. Right, plants over here. Oh, this is not where I want to be, is it? Go, girls. Just go. 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 Go round. Oh, shit. Don't get stuck. Yeah. There we are. All right. Where's the big boy? I don't see him. I don't hear him. So I'm hoping we're good. Right, to the next one. Now, this is just what you want, isn't it? To be trapped at the bottom of the ocean in a tiny little sub with evil monsters of the deep everywhere. Over here. Just keep dodging from cover to cover. Oh, God, what's that over there? The statue? Oh, there's statues. Oh, well, the monster seems to have disappeared, so maybe I'm safe for now. I hope. Who be knocking around? Ooh, never mind. Never mind. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. I'm going. I'm going. I'm just going. Ooh. Oh god, maybe I'm not supposed to... Oh god, this is bad. Yeah. I don't like that. It's very unsettling and the music picked up. Are you behind me? Oh god. Oh god, I see you up there, mate. That's where you are. Something's battering at the friggin' sides of the walls there, the rocks even. I think we have to get across there without being killed by him or the the boomy. The boomies. Okay, we're through. We're through there. Okay, keep moving forward. Inch forward a little bit. I think that's where we want to go down there. Because I don't see anywhere else we can go. He's facing off over there. Let's go. Get into the evil Cthulhu fortress. See what the deal is down here. Right, just keep moving. Oh god, this is a bad idea. Wasn't it? <laughs> Shiver me timbers. I don't like what's creating that, but... Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Is this where I need to be? Is this the escape? Is E.T. about to go home? We're going to make it? Oh, uh, where do I go? Do I just go around the edges? I think I do. I'm assuming this is a good place to be. I don't know where the hell else I'd go. Unless it's like something around the edges, gosh. If there's a bit of a... I'm sorry? What? I can't really go over there. What is happening? Oh, what the? I've caught the fishy. Okay. Right? What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't actually know. Um, okay. I'm, I'm sort of now in here. Fishy, fishy. Oh, God, there's like a big fish up there. Oh, he's fading out. All right, back in. Okay. Yeah, it just sort of quit me straight out of the game after I completed it. Because, again, there's no main menu screen and all that. Well, that was, that, uh, <laughs> that was just a short little game. This is how fishing works, right, ladies and gentlemen? That is indeed how fishing works. You know, all the times I've been fishing before, I always went down in a little jellyfish to the bottom of the sea, hunted down the giant fishies whilst avoiding the bonefish. That's exactly how it works, don't question it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was um, an interesting little sort of more of a concept than a fully fledged game I would say definitely fits uh, the horror category though it was a bit weird at the end there <laughs> um, so yeah I mean um, you know me I always like my underwater horror settings and um, that one certainly had a bit of atmosphere it had moments you know no kind of like overt jump scares or anything like that I'm kind of curious to know what would happen though if one of the giant bonefish caught you so I'm kind of curious just to sail in a bit and see what actually happens if anything check in case there's any kind of branching pathways that I somehow missed or anything like that, which I don't think there will be, because it seems like a fairly straightforward and linear game and all that. But let's just see. Let's just go and find one of the bonefish and uh, get it to attack me and see what actually happens. Because we've got the uh, entrance to the undersea graveyard thing over here, haven't we? But yeah, I mean, the graphics of this are pretty awesome, I have to say. So, whoever made this did a pretty damn good job. Uh, there goes bonefish number one. So we go over here, and uh, bonefish number two should be somewhere nearby. 
you know what, the sound design, Maker's done a real good job with that too. So that's uh, pretty good as well. So, as a concept, it's pretty awesome. Alright, let's just see what Bonefish actually does. Get me. Um. Okay, he doesn't really do anything, it seems. <laughs> Is he actually capable of killing you? Or... I don't think he's actually... I don't think he actually does anything. I think once you're behind him... Oh, God. Has he actually got an eye in his skull? Kind of has. What a fucking freak. Jeez. Oh, hello. <laughs> there's another of you over here. Okay, well, it seems that there's not actually a threat then, so I was worried about nothing. Okay. I wonder if this was made as, like, part of a game jam or something. And as a result, maybe, I don't know, the maker just didn't have time to program in the actual death animations or something like that. So as a result, the bonefish look like they're going to attack you, but ultimately they don't actually do anything. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, that kind of feels like it takes the threat away somewhat, but never mind. Well, there you go. So that was how... Uh, that was This Is How Fishing Works, ladies and gentlemen. So, pretty short video, probably only about 10 minutes or just over that one in total. But, you know what? There's a bit of bonus content here on the channel. I think that's fine. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. And you know me, I always like sort of underwater settings. So yeah, um, Game Maker, if you are watching this by any chance, you know, certainly you've got some promise in this. Maybe if you were to revisit this and flesh it out a bit more, you could create something uh, a bit more sizable. Because I'd certainly be interested in playing it if you, you know, actually program the enemies to uh, do damage or anything like that. That would be awesome. So, there you go, folks. Take a heart from that game maker. Like I say, if you are watching, I, I doubt you'll watch. But <laughs> I doubt that person uh, will be actually uh, even aware of this video. But we'll see. So, uh, I'll wrap up now. I'll sign off. Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed... Don't forget, a like's always appreciated. But other than that, remember, if you want to go fishing, this is how you do it. Goodbye, everybody. Go this way this time. Let's go. Oh, no. How did the dinosaurs survive that friggin... Oh, God. Run, 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 run. He's coming. Lighter, this way. Oh, what the... Oh, no, that's the way... Lighter, this way. Oh, my god, there's a load of flipping dead bodies here. Oh my god! Run, 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 run! Go on, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it! Ah! Oh. Holy crap! Jesus! Whoa, whoa, whoa!